Hello and welcome to the Ski Club Snowcast. Coming up, the latest snow conditions and more advice from our kit fanatic, Al Morgan. But we're opening this week with a report straight from the Alps. After delays caused by heavy snow and low visibility, the World Cup Ski Cross took place in the Contamine, France, bringing a great atmosphere to the resort. One of the competitors, Team GB's Emily Sarsfield, spoke to Ski Club TV about the course and the season ahead. I love this course, it's so technical, it's got like over 20 jumps, so there's jump turn, jump turn, so I'm, I'm really loving the course here. I mean it's always tough to have a delay when you're mid-competition, so um, but yeah, you know, I just relaxed yesterday, I was just determined to make sure we got a race today because I was loving the course, couldn't wait to race it. It's a really busy season because it's the Olympic preparation year for Sochi, so it's kind of the time when we get all our qualifications and things like that. So I've been in kind of like in about well, three continents so far this year, so, uh, so yeah, it's, um, it's a busy one, but it's, it's going well and everything's going in the right direction ready for Sochi. We obviously got world champs this year as well over in Norway in March, so I'm looking forward to, to those races as well. But every race kind of counts towards Sochi, so I'm just putting those old building blocks in place so I'm, re I'm ready and at my best next February. We'll keep you updated on Emily's progress throughout the season. There have been some great results for British athletes recently, with James Woods picking up a second World Cup gold. Visit skiclub.co.uk for our weekly roundup of podium news. Time now to find out how the snow's looking. Here's Ollie Owen with the latest. Great skiing in French resorts continues to please skiers and boarders across the Alps. Here's one of our leaders, Rob Greatback, in Teen, while Chris Stewart, leading in Courcheval, sent us this footage. Low temperatures in high resorts have led to chilly weather on exposed lifts and runs. Austria is enjoying great skiing at the moment, with sunny weather expected to arrive in time to welcome weekend skiers. Perfect weather in Swiss resorts on Thursday treated skiers to a great day on the mountains. Here's ski club leader Bob West Group in Zermatt. Skiing in Italy is also brilliant thanks to the good snowfall throughout January. The sunny weather in many American resorts has been replaced by cloudier skies and the promise of fresh snow over the weekend and beginning of next week. In Canada, resorts in the east remain very cold, with some fresh snow improving conditions. In the west, resorts had milder, sunnier weather. Ski club leader Dan HB in Whistler has been enjoying the conditions with members. Fresh snow should be on its way over the weekend. Skiing conditions in Scotland have vastly improved due to the recent wintry weather that has affected the UK. You can currently enjoy great riding on the slopes of all five of the ski areas. Thanks Ollie, it's great to see Scottish resorts with a good covering. Now if you've been eyeing up a new pair of skis, our latest tip from L will be right up your street. It's not actually that long ago since selecting ski length was a case of stand up and add 10 or 15 centimetres to your height. While skis have come on a long way since then, shapes changed as well as construction. So what I tend to say is skis don't have eyes so they can't see how tall you are, but they can feel how much pressure is being put through them, so this will cause them to lose grip on piste or sink in soft snow. This pressure is dictated by your skiing aggression and your weight. So some, somebody who's lighter or less aggressive will favour a shorter ski, and somebody who's heavier and more aggressive will favour a longer ski in a similar kind of ski. Thanks Al, that's all we've got time for this week. But before we go, remember this? Next week, we'll be catching up with our novice skier Rob from the Accounts Department to see how he's progressing after a few more lessons at Hemel Snow Centre. We're going to leave you today with some more footage of our ski club leaders at a resort at the moment. Enjoy!